Let us pause and consider the man in the moon. He glows with a light that isn't his own. Created to shine in the darkness of night by reflecting the glory of another's light. For it's by the sun's light that the moon can be known. And it's by the sun's light that its beauty is shown. It's the sun that now holds all the orbits in place. If the sun let it go, it would be lost in space. Yet the man in the moon wishes he could break free. He thinks of his orbit as like slavery. Every lunar eclipse to the Earth's furthest side, the moon tries to escape. And like Adam, he hides in the shadow of Earth where he thinks none can see. And there in the dark, he declares, now I'm free. Now it's my time to shine. My own light, fill the skies. So he tries to shine light. Yes, he tries and he tries, but he can't. He's a moon, not a sun, not a star. And you can't be enlightened lest you know what you are. Still, as the moon's orbit from the Earth's shadow slips, the moon vows to try harder the next lunar eclipse. The moon is a fool, just like you, just like me. There's a reason why madness is called lunacy. The moon thinks he's so big and the sun looks so small. If he only could see, the sun's not small at all. Even to us on the earth, they both look the same size, but it's due to perspective. It's a trick of the eyes. You could fit 64 million moons in one sun. Yet the man in the moon thinks that he's number one. So later tonight, in the moon's bright reflection, do your own reflective introspection. See the man in the moon, because if you can, you'll see that the moon is there in the man. <laughs>